This demonstration is going to take an existing design and show you how it gets processed through to costing and production information and then also for those who have CNC machinery uh, going on to CNC and nesting. So we just uh, opened the design that was created previously and just uh, so you can see what's going to be produced we'll just give you another a quick look at a 3D image of the design. So it's just a fairly standard design. There's a couple of corner cabinets and a freestanding island unit. So we can just pan around this so you can see quite clearly the design that's going to be produced. So this will be sent through to the costing module and broken into components and the detail for labour and parts and hardware and edging will all be calculated. So it's just being imported now and the calculations are happening. It's asking us if we want a sub-model, we're just going to say no to that. Go into the defining edge detail screen in case edging has to be altered and we can actually modify each cabinet and every part now if we choose to. I'm just going to leave them as they are and process a standard job. But components can be added or deleted or modified or change the material types at any point. Edge calculations have been done and the job is finished processing. So we go through to the report screen and first of all look at a job summary. So this just gives us a quick cost price of the job. We can uh, just uh, v view a variety of um, reports. This is another screen allowing us to change yet again any components we need to change and uh, we just click on the report tabs to get a report so this is going to be a cutting list cabinet by cabinet so it's very quickly generated so we see the cabinet codes with description of the parts the cut size and the material types for all cabinets in the design so these are just sitting on screen but they can be printed as well so we just close that report <coughs> and Within this module is also the 3D layout function. This is an option that lets you uh, create an optimization of the material in a job. And this is all uh, available in the standard 3D Kitchen production module. So it just uh, brings in the components quite quickly and then it makes an assessment of how to cut them to get the highest material yield. We just select the job and tell it to generate the layout. It's all happening in real time very quickly. So the layouts are generated. We'll just go through and look at the whiteboard. Just a couple of sheets of that so you can see the yields are very high and the optimizations are very clear. They allow for the saw blade kerf and they allow for uh, cutting, trimming the sheet. Okay, so this next uh, function is going to take you through to the next module which is the the Pro Toolpath CNC nesting so this is a higher level of the program now and this is going to send that same job through for processing for drilling shaping and cutting on a CNC nesting machine so we simply click the toolpath link button here we can stop and modify parts we can view the parts to see what is being produced so we're just going to have a look at a couple of cabinet ends for example and just show you how they display. You can see the drilling points, adjustable shelf holes and so on. Look at the right hand end of this cupboard as well to show you the opposite hand. Uh, we can see a, a draw unit. So again we'll see the draw drilling positions. All generates very quickly. And now we're just going to move back to a cabinet and we're going to add some components to it. So here's a, um, a shaped shelf, cutting information. Now in this uh, B2 unit we're going to choose the bottom and just quickly add a couple of notches. So we're going to add a notch. We're going to use an L-shaped notch to start with. We're going to put that in the top right hand corner. We're going to make the depth of the notch 50mm and the height 100mm. So here we are, the panel has now had a notch added to the top right hand corner. We'll add one more notch, this time we'll add a U-shaped notch and we'll base that from the bottom right. 
we'll give that a depth of 50 and a height of 50 and we'll center it exactly on the edge of the panel at its center point. We'll just display that and show you and in, shortly you'll see how that gets translated through to the nesting operation. Anything can be added or deleted at this point, notches, cutouts, uh, circles, uh, parametric routes, whatever you want to add can all be added if you need to make any modifications to panels. Otherwise I'll just process exactly correctly as they were designed. So we're going to nest this job now. So we open the nesting module, we process the 3D kitchen job and it'll give us the number of panels that it's generated and then we'll just look quickly so you can see how it's interlocking the parts that are shaped uh, cuts the small parts first and then it runs an onion skin cut if that's what you require so we'll just look at a few more sheets the little uh, triangles point to the edges that are being taped and all this information also comes out on labels Okay, so we just go through sheet by sheet and show you. So here's a actual cutout that's been cut out of an internal part of a panel. And here are the job, the parts that we've created the extra two notches on. All correctly done straight from the uh, production module. So that's just to give you a quick overview of the job from design right through to production from standard production and again through to CNC nesting. So you can see how quickly and easily this can be produced right through to nesting. If you need any more information please contact us through our website 3dkitchen.com